Hey, what's up guys? Core Master here. So I wanted to show you guys something. I'm still in the process of uh, figuring out how I want to organize the things that I'm doing on the OP1 field. Um, and specifically, you know, you have eight different, I think it's eight, right? Eight different, uh, even though there's only one, two, three, and then there's seven there. If I hit like new over here, yeah, I think I can hit new and create a new one. So I think there's eight total, right? Um, and what I've been having a lot of fun with lately, just so I'm not bouncing all over the place here, is I've been enjoying uh, taking music that I like listening to and recording it directly to tape by, uh, by way of the input over here on the side and going into tape and really just turning, you know, the, the sync and all this stuff off so that this mode is on, is on free here as opposed to beat match and um, recording something like this. So I have a song that I like listening to. I'm not gonna actually play too much of the regular non-pitched version because I don't want this to be, you know, flagged, the copyright, all that stuff. Um, but I'll do this and then similar to what I do on the, on the OB4, I will go in here and try to find a part, like find a, a good pitch for the song um, so I'll slow it down a little bit and, and then I'll just kind of do a loop in and then a loop out. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean in just a second, but I've been doing a lot of live streaming with this at these different coffee shops that I go to. And what's so much fun with that is, um, I gotta look something I don't want to blow and then there we go. Uh, yeah, is, is that I, I'm, I'm just exploring the device still. I'm still very much in the exploration phase with the OP1 field. And I think part of what makes it so special and magical and unique, which are essentially all the same words, I could have just said one of those, whatever, um, is the fact that there's so much to discover and um, not thinking about sort of making music in a traditional way, just more so thinking about, oh, it, it might be cool to try this and then trying it and then seeing that, oh, indeed, this is cool. Um, I just really, really enjoy doing that. So what I want to do is kind of show you this loop thing that I just mentioned. So as I'm playing, I'm going to hit in, which is one at the start of the loop and then out at the end of the loop. So there's a loop right there, right? And what I've been doing actually is I'll keep hitting play and I'll change the pitch every time it plays so that it just like a, sounds like kind of like a ramp up type of a thing. So check this out. So weird things like that are just kind of fun. Damn, I just hit that. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, but yeah, weird things like that are really just fun to to just do and experiment with on the device. Um, so what else is there to show? So while that's looping, it I might go into, this is on what, track number one right here. So I might go into two and then record some drums or record something over this. You know, playing by ear allows me to hear this melody. <laughs> and come in here. So I might. And I might come in here. So 
So I don't know. I just might experiment with things like that. But once you have something going, you can also, while it's playing and while you're on loop, uh, shout out to Sun Wu. He uh, <laughs> had a nice video this morning talking about being able to zoom out on a zoom out here by holding shift and hitting left or right. Um, so that does zoom out, but it also uh, is not really what I would consider a zoom out thing because what, once it reaches the end, it's going to start playing at the, it, it's not really zooming out. It's actually shifting the loop to a different part of the song. So check this out. See that blue line right there? So it jumps up there. Now it's going to go back to here. It's going to jump here. And I, I talked about this in, an old, in a, a, re, a recent video. So you actually can um, hit play before it jumps to the new loop, and it will pick up at that point in the new loop, if that makes sense. If you know, you know. But you, shouldn't, you can't be holding shift, so you just have to hit play. So it's kind of like a lot of like you have to be really sharp with it and really quick with what you're doing. Um, so let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. Let me go to a different song now. So, so check this out. So you see that red, there's a whole bunch going on there. If I go to like down here and hit shift and loop, it's going to loop just this, just this part uh, of the song. So let's see what this one sounds like. Okay, so here we go. So what was I about to show? Oh yeah, so jumping to the next part of the loop. So So it's pretty cool. You can do some really, really interesting things with that. Um, so regarding the TX6 right now, I'm actually using all TE gear right here. We have the OP1 field. We have the TX6, and you can't see me. Well, now you can. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm using the uh, the M1 um, headset, and so I want to I want to dial this in. I want to dial this setup in so that my I think I can do snapshots if I'm not mistaken on the TX6. Um, Essentially, I want to be able to have this be sort of turnkey where I can come in here and these headphones are automatic are already connected right here and like the levels are perfect um, because sometimes when I've tried recording to and I'm actually as you can see this USB stick so I'm recording to USB directly and then I'm going to use this audio file over this video file up here. And so I think that setup is a really, really unique and really just good one. So I'm very excited about that. But there was a time when I recorded um, something on here and it didn't sound like it was clipping at all to me on my headset. But when I listened to it after the fact, um, my voice was like too loud. And so to that point, there are a few things that I still need to kind of understand uh, better. I'm not even going to touch anything over here right now because while this is recording, I, I'd rather just make sure that it continues to record. But um, there are like um, there's gain levels and then there's mic level and then there's just the actual volume. So there's three different areas where you could change how things are sounding on the actual headphones. And so I need to kind of just dial that in a little bit. Um, hopefully when I listen to this, it, it'll sound the way that I, I expect it to the way that it's sounding to me in my in my headphones right now. Uh, but yeah, that's where I wanted to leave the video today. So like and subscribe for more. Every Monday I'm dropping an, uh, an OP1 feel centric video. Um, and that's going to go on for a very long time because there's just so much stuff to talk about and so much stuff to do with this device. So I appreciate you guys watching. And I think you guys deserve to see my face right now as I say goodbye, everybody. And I'll look at you here. Goodbye, everyone. And also, look at that. There's a YouTube shorts uh, being covered by my string there but yeah youtube shorts hoodie gotta gotta represent i gotta get some teenage engineering gear te if y'all are listening i would be happy to rock some te gear i would be be thrilled to rock it so let me know how to do that how, how we can make that happen all right uh have a good one everybody i'll catch y'all on the next one peace out i'm loving this camera too i got the new sony this new sony camera and it's uh it's really good it's a really good camera all right take care everyone peace
that was probably loud, sorry.